What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about this papyrus right here. This has taken the Christian TikTok world by storm and I'm going to explain why. This 1600 year old fragment has been identified as the oldest written account of Jesus Christ's childhood. So yeah, it sounds pretty cool. But I hate to burst your bubble, it's not what you think it is. It's actually just an excerpt from something called the Infancy Gospel of Thomas. Now I have two reasons that I think all of this is interesting. Number one, we can show that this excerpt comes from a heretical Gnostic book. Number two, the religion of Islam has stolen and plagiarized from this ancient heretical Gnostic book. And yes, I know, you want proof. So let me break down reason number one, why I think the infancy gospel of Thomas is a heresy. And by the way, 99.9% .9 of all Christians would agree with this. The Gospel of Thomas appears far too late in history to have been written by Thomas or any other reliable eyewitnesses of the life of Jesus. It lacks any mentioning of the second coming of Christ or anything referring to the future kingdom of God, which is very unlike every book of the New Testament, especially the Gospels. The earliest leaders of the church also recognized the Gospel of Thomas as a late, inauthentic, heretical work. Some of the church fathers use strong language such as absurd fiction. The infancy Gospel of Thomas appears to be just another Gnostic Gospel. The text was discovered among other Gnostic works and opens with these literal words. These are the secret sayings that the living Jesus spoke and Judas Thomas recorded. Anytime you see a book that says these are the secret teachings, the secret teachings of Christ, the hidden mystery, like 99% chance, that's a Gnostic teaching. Jesus isn't going to hide what he wants you to understand. Now, do I believe that there's hidden mysteries and revelation and prophecy within Christianity? Yeah, but I don't think that salvation, anything that re relates to salvation is going to be hidden. I think that God wants us to hear his word. But lastly, the Gospel of Thomas implies that Jesus Christ killed people while he was a child. For example, it says this, Darn you, you irreverent fool! What harm did the ponds of water do to you? From this moment, you too will dry up like a tree, and you'll never produce leaves or root or bear fruit. In an instant, the boy had completely withered away. So yeah, that's why it's considered a heresy. Now, Here's why I think the religion of Islam stole from it, which I know that most of you probably want to hear. Well, in the infancy Gospel of Thomas, it mentions stories like Jesus speaking from the cradle, literally in full sentences, and Jesus, when he was a child, creating real birds from clay. Well, it just so happens that the Quran says the exact same thing. The Quran says, Then God will say, Jesus, son of Mary, remember my favor to you and to your mother, how I strengthened you with the Holy Spirit, so that you spoke to people in your infancy and as a grown man. How I taught you the scripture and wisdom, the Torah and the gospel. How by my leave you fashioned the shape of a bird out of clay, breathed into it, and it became, by my leave, a bird. By the way, if you don't believe me, you could just look these things up for yourself. So from this papyrus, we can conclude the following. Number one, the Gospel of Thomas is a heresy. And number two, the religion of Islam steals from the Gospel of Thomas. It is what it is. Now, I want to end this video off by saying sorry to all of my YouTube audience for not posting as much anymore. School just let out, so I am off on summer break, so I do plan on posting more. But yeah, I just post on TikTok a lot more because it's more consistent and it's a lot easier to upload. However, I like posting on YouTube because the comment section is usually, nine times out of ten, much more positive. For example, if you go to my recent TikTok videos, probably 60% of the comments are hate slash condemning. And I get it. The Bible says that if you are in Christ Jesus, you will too suffer persecution. So I get it. It's okay. And by the way, I'm not trying to say that like I'm a tough guy for being persecuted because I'm not. I'm just going through social persecution, which I'm completely fine with. I'd much rather go through social persecution than physical persecution. Uh, yeah, but it is what it is. I hope you guys go follow me on those other platforms. I'm thinking about trying to do this full time. And the summertime is usually the time when I can kind of like experiment with it and see what works. So if you're ever wondering, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but if you're ever wondering why I'm running ads, it is to make money off of that. But usually when I make money off of YouTube or TikTok, I put the money into a PayPal account and I usually just use that money to pay my editor and to pay things like that. So no, I'm not going to buy new chairs and a new couch and new clothes with TikTok and YouTube money. That's not what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. 
I don't know why I need to tell you that, but I just kind of want to. Hope you all have a great day. If you have any new video ideas, let me know in the comments. Peace. By the way, guys, I wanted to ask, if I were to actually try on my Patreon and put stuff on there, what kind of stuff would you want me to put on there? I don't know. Give me some cool ideas. Um, I don't want you to subscribe to my Patreon right now. I do have two people that have been subscribed for like the past couple months, and I didn't ask them to. It's just very, They're just being extremely generous. Um, yeah, they're just being really nice. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm just asking you what kind of stuff should I put on there to get people to subscribe. I don't want it to be like the same old stuff that every other YouTube Christian influencer does. Um, I don't know if you guys have any cool, unique ideas that would separate me from the other people. That'd be cool. So let me know. By the way, here's a super random compilation of me absolutely cooking, cooking my coworkers. God bless. Get up, get up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.